She's the top of the shop, the queen of the screen, the lady who's friends with O'Grady. It's only Miss Cilla Black! <laughs> Hey. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's fantastic to have you. Legends walk amongst us, Lane Gemma. Look at this. <laughs> Cheers. It's fantastic. it's fantastic to have you here. Yeah, an icon of British TV. I can't believe it. Am I really? Oh, you are, darling, you are, yeah. Ooh. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and this is your studio, isn't it? This is your studio. This is my studio, and I think I've got the same audience here. They're so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Especially Brian, oh, yeah, yeah, the paratrooper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, yeah. Ryan, yeah, cos I've jumped out of a plane too. Have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was attached to somebody at the time. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I went on a tandem, yeah, I jumped really? out of a plane. Fantastic. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was terrifying. <laughs> you just got to sit and dangle your legs outside the plane. Right. He's behind you. Right. And he gives you a shove. And then... <laughs> <laughs> it's literally that. And I did all the flips and everything. Yeah. yeah. It was all film. It's on film. Is it? Yeah. It sounds brilliant. I wish I'd known about this so I could have asked you about it. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I tell you... What? It's weird seeing you on the TV now because you normally on telly around about tea time. It's making me hungry. Because you were probably brought up with Blind Date when yeah. it was on. It was a family show. Yeah. And it was it was on for eighteen years. So how old are you there now? Um, um this year I've just turned my forty <laughs> year. Have you really? Yeah. So you oh, yeah. you, were, you were kind of really getting ready to go out That's and rock right. and roll and pull the birds on a Saturday night. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a year. Now, the... Uh... <laughs> do you miss audiences, though? Because we, we haven't seen in front of a bigger audience like this in a while. Do you miss it? I do, I do. I actually do miss the audience. And looking round here, it's, you know, normally I'm very... I can see far away, but I can't really see close up. So, right. to me, you look gorgeous. <laughs> You're back to Japanto, is that right? Yes, I am. I'm going to Liverpool. Right. Uh, we are the city of culture. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, why, why does every southerner laugh or go aghast? <laughs> Twitched. Like you did. I'm closing, I'm closing the year of the City of Culture by doing a pantomime up there, and I haven't done one for 22 years. Right. So. Uh, I'm the furry godmother. The furry godmother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the furry godmother. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I can make your dreams come true. Yeah, I know you can, sir. <laughs> well, unfortunately, mine are held back by a restraining order, re holiday <laughs> Brilliant, though, because, I mean, it's great you're going back to the Pewell for that, back to Liverpool, because you, you started out yeah. with the Beatles. This lady's backing band was the Beatles, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> well, they did back me. I did my audition for Brian Epstein with the Beatles way back then. Yeah. What about this business of old Ringo and the <laughs> autographs? <laughs> I... Well, I was hysterical. Yeah. Peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> yeah. Not signing anymore. Well, uh, He's like that a bit, you know. Something must have upset him on the day, cos he's, he's prone to do that. You see? In a whim, yeah, a little bit of a whim, and I think he probably regrets it now. Right. But then he can't go back, he won't sign any more autographs after the 20th. That's a great shame, isn't it? Well, when you think he's been doing it over 45 years, and so have I when you come to think. This is my 45th year in show business, so... And I've been doing it... <laughs> as many autograph hunters as he does. Right. And I don't know, because right. I'm not a Beatle. 
Well, the thing is, I've got one of his albums here, actually. <laughs> yeah, Peace <laughs> Off by Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I've got three, uh, some regular drinkers, Steve, Steve, Allen and Steve. They were hoping uh, that Ringo would sign this, but uh, seeing as uh, he's not going to sign it, could you sign it um, uh, for us? I would love to sign yeah, it, yeah. yeah. To okay. Steve, love Ringo, if you could do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got, to, I've got to do... Yeah, and, and Silla? No, I, uh, Ursula. Ursula. That's <laughs> 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 beautiful. Hey, yeah, the value of that's just plummeted. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, of course, they started off with, like their suits and you know yeah. all that, and then they went all like hair and everything. You never like dropped acid and did like Scylla in the sky with diamonds or anything, did you? No. <laughs> I actually did smoke part one. Did you? Yes, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> I remember it was my very first pantomime at Wimbledon now and I was little red riding hood <laughs> And little red riding hood after doing part I was my mouth was foul I was the foulest little red riding hood ever. <laughs> So I've never I've never been tempted since I have actually yeah. <laughs> In LA, yeah. I, you know, I turned 60 and I thought, oh, what, <laughs> what the heck? And I did it. It was much better that time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm a naughty girl, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> and that's why we like you, Silla. <laughs> now, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Shall we use some Silla's got amazing legs, blah, blah? Yeah. <laughs> For me, no, you've got fantastic legs, blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so people, I mean, I did, um, I did. Naomi Campbell rang me up the other week, Ooh. she's really nice, is she? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> none of that her age thing, she's absolutely gorgeous, right. my new best friend. Really, she rang me up and said, Would I do you know a ch her charity for Fashion Week? And I said, Of course, I would, you know, to walk the, the catwalk. And I was supposed to go to Guy Ritchie's pub. Right. That's where all the frocks were. Real, I know. <laughs> and it Sorry, was mate. Before, no, it was before it all came out. What is unreasonable behaviour? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they t I, I got there and they said, I said, what am I wearing? And they said, Yves Saint Laurent. I went, oof. Up. And it was oh. this like Fred Astaire jacket, and then I said, "What else? You know, what goes with this?" And then they threw a shirt at me. I said, "Fantastic!" And I thought they'd give me a pair of, you know, pants to wear. Yeah. And they just gave me a, a small pair of briefs. Right. And that was it. <laughs> that was it. Oh, and a top hat and a cane and a whip. I drew the line. Well, okay. I, the <laughs> I can't take any more of this. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, now, but then, of course, I mean, the thing we talked earlier, Blind Date, surprise, surprise. I mean, those shows were the biggest TV shows in the history of the universe. I think it's fair to say, weren't they? Well, that, I, that's Give very kind of you. I, I love doing I love my work. I mean, I did Surprise, Surprise for 20 years and Blind Date for 18. God, Blind And I know, I know. I mean, I, Blind Date used to be my favourite show. And I used to watch it and I worked out my three questions. If I was did picking, you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go on, hit me with them. My first question, guess number one. You have to do that, right? <laughs> my first question is to guess number one. Number one, can you change a barrel? That's my first question. Have <laughs> 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 uh, you got your own teeth is the second question. <laughs> and the uh, third question is what do you regard as unreasonable behaviour? <laughs> See, I went on a blind date once myself. Did you? Yeah, I did. How did it turn out? Well, Steve, Steve Allen and Steve arranged it, right? It was one of Steve's mates. <laughs> and it was great. And we, we had a nice time. I'd met for a pint. And she'd have worked my for lady. And um, <laughs> I told her I liked her hair. And I asked her what stuff she liked. She liked, she liked football and Top Gear. And... <laughs> and then she went to the gents. Which, so it wasn't much... Uh, <laughs> blind date. Surprise, surprise, really. Yeah.
thing is, it's great having you here. I think, Thank I think, I, I have to say from the bottom of my heart, it's absolutely brilliant to see Scylla on ITV, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Oh. yeah. This is what we want, ladies and gentlemen. Scylla Black there, ladies and gentlemen. Scylla Black.